Hi, it's me again with Corrode All Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted these on Facebook. They actually posted three, and before I started thinking about making a video, I, I'd already cropped out two of them. Because I want to be able to um, crop it where I've just got a little bit and only that word, so I've cropped it. Now, I'm not going to do anything special. It's not that big, so I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, and Clip Art. Normally what I do, it's already traced it. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to go ahead and go to Object and Group and Ungroup it. Now, we've got some gray matter. Well, it really traced it pretty good. Uh, a while ago, it didn't trace that good. Let's put a yellow box and see if there's any problem. So maybe by me. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of white matter anyway. So we've got it. And I'm going to just hit delete and delete these things. I was hoping it would still have the, because I just did this a while ago and I did something and crashed my computer. But just get rid of all the white. And what I would do, and then look at it really close, and that's not terrible, but we can still clean this up. I'm, I'm going to take away the yellow box now, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to left-click, right-click. And you can sign and see that there's really no gray matter. It really kind of irritates me. Let me do this again. Let me trace bitmap, outline, trace clip art. And wow. Pretty good. So maybe it'll work for you. And then with this one nearby, especially if it is somebody's signature, you want to, you do not want to change it too much. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to go make it red for right now and make it a hairline. Because I think in a hairline, you can see more what's going on. Like the sharpness of this, a uh, little peak right there. Uh, boy, it trace it really good. So, Maybe, maybe this will just help them. I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to set it like on a half an inch because I don't want to mess up too much at one time. And I clicked on it to get the, uh, and I'm just making a sweep through there. I don't want to change the person's signature if it is, see, I have to, you've got to click on it to get the note. And I'm talking about real quick moving this thing. I mean, just don't spend any time. Now, when we get to like this, Top of this U, and you kind of want to get rid of that. You know, we could make the oh, um, smoothing tool quite a bit smaller, like 0.1, and click on it, and then just kind of smooth out that edge real little. You could make it more like a sweep. And by having the other one pretty close, you can kind of see what it is. And um, this. Well, there's a good, there's, here's a good example. Matter of fact, let's get it, let's set it even closer. And see like right here, we've got a, a dip and we don't have a dip in there anymore. That would be a good case for your shape tool to just bring that dip in more. See, it looks like it's all kind of welded together there anyway. Go back to the smoothing tool. I'm going to go back to a half inch. Because as long as you don't touch too much at one time, it'll, it'll be a lot faster. And I'm just, I'm, I'm clicking the mouse like for two seconds or for a second right there. Now on this, we have to, you have to make sure you, you know, um, and this would be a good case to maybe make a copy of it before you even start to, um, in case you go too far, you can come back. Now here's another, uh, my U is a little bit funky looking. It's not as round there. Um, so you could just take the shape tool. Let's try deleting these nodes and then we could do this. So you give it a little bit more of a U. There's actually a little flaw right there. Um, you know, same thing on that with this sharp corner. Uh, go back to the smoothing tool put it on that point one. Now you've got to select it and get the nodes, but then just, you can isolate that point. And you know, this, this needs to have a little bit of a, the inside and the outside. 
And the only disadvantage, I mean, you've got to make sure you see your nodes. Because if, if you don't see the nodes, it's not working. Especially when you're working on something this little. But then after I would get it like that, and, you know, maybe this part needs to come down lower. And that's very easily done. Just take your pick to, I mean, your shape tool and grab maybe the maybe grab those two nodes and just bring it down a little bit. And then you could always, you know, change it and bring that one over, you know, turn this into a cusp by right click clicking. And then by doing that, you're just doing the one handle. And if you got one perfect, you could actually use it for both. You know, I like right here, I like this one better. So what I could do is just take the virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Take this one. And probably the smartest thing to do is just take the smart fill tool. Fill that in. If I could grab it, fill that in. Now, somebody's, I'm using somebody's file where they're, they put a, a line around the smart fill. Um, see that way they kind of look the same. Anyway, I would be, I would engrave that. And then you can just select it all and right click, or excuse me. Okay, so that didn't work. So in this case, since we made a new object, we're going to have to smart fill it. If you didn't see that, it filled in that part I just made. But what I would do is fill it in with black. And it might help to zoom in. And then I would always take away the outline. Because the outline, uh, just in case you were cutting something, so you could select it all and right click no outline. See down here we have several outlines. Now we have, and I'm also using somebody else's. Well, probably the best thing to do because you can't get rid of some of it is nudge these up. Well, evidently they don't have an outline. Let's do, let's test it one more time. Let's take away the fill. Yeah, there's no outline there. So just go back and that would engrave. You know, it's not, not perfect. I didn't take a lot of time. And sometimes you can uh, smooth it out after you have this fill in because it'll actually show up a little bit more. So we're kind of round those off. And, you know, like right here, that little tidbit, I mean, you don't, you know, if it's somebody's signature, you don't want to mess it up too much. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.